Aho, Hijankishana, Hini Karegiwi, Huachatega, Wahanangshana, Egi Hante Ejige, Hani Chowida, Hai Pin. Hello, everybody. Huachate here again, and I'm happy to see everybody. Um, this is module 2.2. So, this is the second video in the module. There's going to be three of them, remember, so that we can cover all of our learning targets. Um, if you're here, um, you do need to go back to the first module and make sure you kind of get that down and get a good idea of what's going on in that before you move on to this one, because this does kind of build on to that. Um, so we learned in, in that module again, just very basic, what is your name? My name is this, his or her name is this. We learned how to say that, and we learned a few little grammatical facets. Well, today we're gonna add just a little bit more onto that for everybody. So without any further ado. Okay, so like I said, module 2.2. And our learning target for this particular portion of the module is you will be able to demonstrate knowledge of the birth order names, so you'll go over what those are shortly, um, where the origin is and the use. Okay. So the three words that we need to know for this lesson are Ho-Chunk, which means Ho-Chunk. I think you guys probably figured that out very well. And the next word is mai -chate. Now what mai -chate literally means is it's mahi -chate, big knife or long knife. And that is what we call Europeans or people of European descent and origin when they came here. Um, for our purposes today, though, it also means the language that is spoken, and that is English. So once again, maichete for us today means English. And the last thing word that we're going to need to know is the word rash, and that means name, rash. Okay, so we learned how to ask what is her name, jagu higaide. But what if we want to differentiate between English name and Ho Chunk names? So we want to ask, what is her English name? Maichete Rajra Jagu Higaire. Maichete Rajra Jagu Higaire. So if you time out for a second here, you look, you already know the phrase Jagu Higaire from the last portion of the module. You're just adding on those two words. Maichete Rajra. What is the English name? What is her English name? Maichete Rajra Elsaga Higairing. Maichete Rajra Elsaga Higairing. Maichete Rajra Jagu Hinigaire. Maichete Rajra Jagu Hinigaire. Maichete Rajra Henninga Hingairing. Maichete Rajra Henninga Hingaire. So as you can see, once again, you're just adding these two words onto the front of the phrase that you already know. So fairly simple, fairly easy with the English name. But now we also talked about Ho-Chunk names and birth order names. So with Ho-Chunk names, a lot of us have are given Ho-Chunk names. Mine is Huangchete or the big elf. Um, and these are given in, in a variety of different ways. Um, they're also given depending on the family and your beliefs at different times. I know my family, we don't name our children until they are able to walk and they're eating solid food. Now, you, that takes a little while and you're wondering, well, what do you call your kids in the meantime? And that's where the birth order names come in. Our birth order names come from our creation story. And I'm not going to go in too deeply into the whole creation story, um, but I will touch on a few aspects and say that in the very beginning, once everything was created, the universe, the stars, the sun, the moon, the earth, and all living beings on the planet, the creator made the first man. Human beings were the last thing. And the first man was placed in the north and he was named Kunu. Now a lot of things happened, and, but ultimately the creator looked and realized he didn't want Kunu to be by himself. And so he created the remaining three brothers. There was Hena, who was placed in the east, Haga in the south, and Nagi in the west. Now, these were the first four brothers. Now, looking down again, the creator had decided that they were still incomplete, and they were still going to need help to be able to make their way through this world. And so the first four women were created. Hinu, placed in the north. Wiha, placed in the east. Haksiga, placed in the south. And Hinanke, placed in the west. Now, these were the first human beings that were created, the first eight. Now, our birth order names, everybody who's born, depending on the order in which they are born, takes one of these names 
kind of in remembrance of this portion of our creation story. So just like Kuno was the first man, your firstborn sons are named Kuno. Hinu was the first woman. So your firstborn daughters are named Hinu. Hina is your second born son. Weha, second born daughter. Haga, third born son. Haksiga, third born daughter. Nagi, fourth born son. And Hinake, the fourth born daughter. So this is where the birth order names come into play. This is where they come from, and this is how they are used. Um, I myself am a Hena, considered the most treasured of all of the sons, obviously. Um, but you can go to Ho-Chunk gatherings, talk to Ho-Chunk people, and you will hear Kunu and Hena or Hino. People will use that all through their lives. Even after they have a given Ho-Chunk name, these kind of stick with different people. So to give you an example, um, this is my son, my youngest. He is the third eldest son, which means he would be a Haga. So now we can ask, what is his Ho-Chunk name? Ho-Chunk Rajra Jagu Higaire. Ho-Chunk Rajra Jagu Higaire. Ho-Chunk Rajra Hagaga Higaire. Ho-Chunk Rajra Hagaga Higaire. Ho Chunk Rajra Jagu Hinigaire. Ho Chunk Rajra Jagu Hinigaire. Ho Chunk Rajra Hinaga Hingaire. Ho Chunk Rajra Hinaga Hingaire. So even if you don't have that given Ho Chunk name, you can always use these birth order names as your whole chunk names. And in fact, many, many people do. All right, and that's it for this portion of the module. I'm trying to keep it short. Um, there's practice materials that's going to be available, again, through our website um, at hochunk.org. You can also make sure you go to our Facebook sites, the Hochunk Wazija Chi Language Division Facebook site, as well as our Hochunk Academy Facebook site. And then once again, make sure you're subscribing to the Hochunk Academy YouTube channel. There's a lot of great material up there, including a version of the creation story that I just touched on where these birth order names come in. So please check it out. So once again, I hope everybody is doing well during this time. Thank you for coming on and trying to learn a little bit more Ho-Chunk. If you have questions, reach out and ask. And I'll see you all soon.